Hello and welcome. Now, this is a little update video because I got a new camera and I'm testing it out. I want to see how well it does, how well it looks, all that good stuff. But I'm going to let y'all tell me what y'all think. Right now I think it's filming in 4K, but going through my editor it's not going to be 4K. Um, but it still should look better. I am right now testing it with the built-in mic and then I will try my Rode mic with the the uh, you know wind resistant thing on it but so I'm trying this out we we'll update like I said so the daily driver it's had some issues wheel bearings went out so I put new wheel bearings new rotors new brake pads then uh, thought I had some issues a couple of times when I was wide open throttling it going to and from work and uh, kept noticing going from second to third it kept kind of chugging on itself like it's almost the thermostat wasn't even it was below 130 and it was doing it and I was like well maybe it's just cold so I'll wait for it to warm up and see what happens so a couple days later I waited for the temperature to get up there a little bit I think it was about 70 that day and uh, waited for my temperature gauge to get up to 180 and then I came out of the hole, spinning tires. First, second was good. Squealed the tires going in second. Built up the RPM through second until we got ready to shift to third. Then it's like it slipped. I had to let off because, yeah, it's starting to have transmission issues. Only whenever I go wide open throttle right now. Driving it normally, it's fine. So there's that at least. Oh, and this new camera actually has stabilization on it. Not that it matters using it on a tripod right now, but that may come in handy later on. Now, the GTO here. Don't drive it that often. I get out a little bit because transmission's kind of screwy on that one too. Change oil. And it is as I feared. I spun a bearing in it. Making this hot riding one day. That probably had to do when the transmission slipped a while back and spun bearing. It's mostly been sitting under here this whole time. I started up every once while I move it, but it's hurt. It did have an issue starting. I put some Excel Lightning cable on it and cleaned the... For whatever reason, the battery terminal on the starter was rusted, even though it doesn't... It never goes out in the rain. I don't drive it in the rain. I'm not sure how that... So I cleaned it off, put some that lightning cable on there that I had from my other truck. Still good cable, just been sitting there. Starts up really good now. Not that it matters. <laughs> but I still like to move it around every once in a while, start it up. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is update on the other projects and try the road mic. And before I do that, I'm actually going to walk around it and see how it picks up sound. If I was standing behind it and narrating like I do sometimes. And I do have a nice little, of course you can't see it. Um, it's got a little gauge down here It tells me a sound. It looks like it's picking me up and some wind up. So now I'll try the road mic. So it may be picking up more wind back here. I'm not sure yet. Uh, it may be picking me up pretty decently now. But... I'll figure that out here in a second. Now luckily this thing's got a bigger screen for me to see where I'm at. Much better camera and everything. Of course. Go figure. Um, so this one I'm waiting on parts. As well as the title still. The Pontiac truck. I'm getting ready to order the cage because I've saved up some more money for the cage and some other parts to get it going. Or get the ball rolling back on it. I actually polished another intake for it and got a set of valve covers which I'll go ahead and show you anyway right now. So here is a little sneak peek of the intake. You can see it's pretty shiny actually. But since I'm going back carbureted, I wanted a dual plane. Now I'm going to take the road mic back off, try this again inside with no wind noise, with the other mic or with the internal mic so here is the valve covers 
for the Pontiac truck and uh, had to repolish them just due to the fact that it uh, came a little scuffed up but that's uh, what I'm going with there nice tall polished aluminum and accordingly to the little display I think the mic picks up better I won't know until editing and until y'all tell me so but there's valve covers okay so just that little update right there just let me know what you think of the camera quality or the video quality on your end again my video quality for my editor is not going to be the greatest yet but considering my GoPros usually look better than the old Sony Handycam I was using I would expect to see improvement right off the bat um, this is just a Sony 4K forget the part number but yeah so let me know how it sounds and how it looks as always thanks for watching